Um, I mean, like you said, we had expectations coming into the season. Um, so, you know, really, you know, since training camp, we've been, you know, really close as a team. You know, like I said before, we got great guys in the locker room and, you know, we're continuing to get better. You know, we're not where we want to be. You know, it's a long season. Um, but, you know, continuing to get better every single day, every single game, learning from our mistakes and moving forward. So it's all about moving on day by day. Tyler, if someone would have told you you now hold the NBA record for most points off the bench by a reserve for your team's first seven games, you would have told them? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's that's nice to – I mean, that's cool, I guess. But, I mean, <laughs> I mean I'll just – Continue to do my do my part, do my job, and um, it's still really early. Uh, you got a lot of attention this summer when you said you felt like you should be in that combo with, with Luke and Trey. Did you come into this season feeling like you had a lot to prove, and, and what do you think you've proven to this team? Um, no, nah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I have anything to prove. I just, you know, I want to prove it to myself for one. You know, just. You know, I put in a lot of work, you know, that people don't see. So I believe in myself more than anybody. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, it's just been a point of emphasis for me, you know, pregame, you know, just being able to, you know, lock in mentally and know, you know, you know, these second units and these other teams are going to send guys at me to try to stop me and, you know, send different schemes and, whether it's a blitz, a switch, whatever it is. So just knowing that, you know, the the regular coverages aren't going to, you know, be – I'm not going to see those, you know, very often. So just slowing down and um, mentally just being prepared, knowing that they're going to throw something at me. You, you had When you had the run uh, in, in 2020, uh, you had your big games against Boston. A lot of times it was one guy taking it upon themselves and having to get it done. You have a game like today, Jimmy in the first quarter, you in the second quarter, Bam in the third quarter, and all the while – Kyle hitting threes and, and putting up assists. How different does this feel than having to ride this single hot hand? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, like I, I always say, you know, we got a bunch of guys who are really unselfish, a bunch of guys who can, you know, go off in, in any quarter, whether it's, you know, 10 to 20 points in a quarter. You know, we got, a, you know, multiple guys that can do that. So, like you said, you know, one, one quarter, maybe me, one Jimmy, you know, I think every quarter in every possession, you know, Teams are on their heels because they, they got a you know game plan for a lot. All right, Maddox, we can take some via Zoom. All right, we'll go at Cooper Moorhead, Heat.com. Hey, Tyler, um, you know, with what this group is asking of you to be, you know, not all the time, but a microwave score off the bench of sorts, how, how are you determining what's a good shot and what's a bad shot? Or do you even think like that? Um, I mean, I'm just a basketball player. I make the right play. You know, whether it's a shot or, you know, I, I set I set a teammate up. Um, you know, my best attribute is probably to score the ball. I can score, you know, I feel like with anyone and um, you know, just making the right play, whether it's like I said, setting a teammate teammate up or looking for my shot. Appreciate it. All right, up next we have Nick Garrido, WSVN. Go ahead. Hey, Tyler, between playing with Kyle this year, it seems like your personal life, you know, you're happy, you know, off the court as well. Just want to just ask you, how much more fun are you having this year so far? Having a lot of fun. Right up next, we have Brady Hawk, Five Reasons. Go ahead. Hey, Tyler, it looked like Dallas was really closing off the rim against you early on when you were driving. You just quickly shifted into that outside shot. Just do you feel like that you're reading that type of stuff quicker this season where you can react and adjust to what the defense is giving you? Well, uh, yeah, just, you know, I feel like I missed, a, I think my first two shots I, were bunnies that I missed that, you know, usually fall for me. Um, but just sticking with it, you know, if I miss the first three, four or five shots, just staying confident, knowing the next shot is going to go in um, and not letting that the misses get to me mentally. I just, you know, keep it, keep at it. Right up next, we have Jeff Hoffman, 